Hello everyone, welcome. <laughs> so, today we're going to get into a little bit about immunity boosting foods. Our immune systems are heavy on everyone's mind right now, it's a prime importance. And so I want to get into a little bit about um, s some specifics about the nature of the virus that we're up against and some things that we can do to support our bodies during this time. So, um, most of us know the basics uh, about immunity, you know, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, lots of water, lots of sleep, we all have those basics. And so when we get into a little bit more specific about the coronavirus, what we know about it is that it is it loves mucus and it gets gets deep into the lungs. So uh, we'll go into a little bit more about that later. But right now, what I want to talk a little bit about is about um, the fear and the panic and the anxiety and the stress that comes with it. So I think one of the most important things that we can do right now for our immunity is to actually reduce our stress. So. Some really beautiful ways to do this is uh, with Nervine herbs. So some of my favorites are passion flower. It's a really good herb for um, people who tend to overthink or people who can't shut their mind off. So passion flower really helps to reduce like that mental racing that happens. Lemon balm is a really great Nervine for uh, anxiety or fear that lives in the body. And lemon balm is also um, an antiviral, so you're getting two in one with that herb. And then another great one to add into that formula would be motherwort. It supports the lungs and it's um, a really beautiful nervine too that helps to just bring down fear in the body. Um, so that tea blend can be a really, really beneficial blend for, for anyone dealing with stress and anxiety right now. And What's important with tea too is that you're making sure that you steep it in the correct way. So when you're steeping it, put a lid on it and let it steep for at least 20 minutes to get uh, the full like, extraction. 20 minutes or longer is good. It will have a slightly bitter taste, so if you want to add lemon or honey to it, it's up to you. Um, and then some, some important nutrients to help reduce stress during this time are B vitamins, so supplementing your B vitamins. Uh, magnesium, you know, the miracle mineral is really, really great. It kind of gives that instant relaxation. I love uh, doing Epsom salt baths or taking foot baths. Um, you can mix magnesium powder into water and drink it and that kind of immediately works on the body. Um, okay, and so let's get into some foods too. So right now, with the virus going on, we really want to make sure that we're focusing on plant-based foods that are rich in vitamin C, so leafy greens. So I'll show you guys what I'm having tonight in my salad. So I'm having my kale salad. I have um, some orange in there, I got cabbage, I have some onions, and I have pumpkin seeds. So this salad is packed with... Uh, vitamin C, it's got zinc from the pumpkin seeds, and then it's got a lot of those powerful antioxidants to support us during this time too. Um, and then in the dressing I have raw garlic, water, dates, and a little bit of soy sauce. Raw gar garlic is a really good antiviral right now, so getting in all the raw garlic that you possibly can right now will be really great for you. Um, ginger will be really great. And we, what we really want to focus on as well is reducing mucus in the body. So staying away from mucus forming foods and bringing in um, herbs and spices that clear mucus from the body. So foods that form mucus will be um, uh, <laughs> dairy, bread, eggs, milk, chocolate, and packaged kind of junk foods. So. I know it's hard to stay away from it completely, but we can do our best to not be eating these things every day just to help uh, reduce the amount of mucus within our body. And then bring in some uh, warming spices that can warm up the mucus and move it out of the body. So ginger is a really good one, 
garlic is a good one. Um, kind of like our, our loved chai spices, right? So cardamom, nutmeg, cinnamon, cinnamon and uh, spices like that. So those will be really helpful during this time as well. Um, and what else do we want to talk about? Oh yeah, and so uh, f supporting the lungs right now too. So along with taking your nervines to help reduce stress within the body, you can do adaptogens. One that I would definitely suggest is um, reishi because it's, it's a really powerful adaptogen that's going to help you with your stress response and it also helps strengthen uh, the lungs as well. So you're getting two in one there. Um, and then focusing more on plant-based foods. So if you're following a high fat or a high protein diet right now, it's probably a, a good idea to focus more on um, fresh living plant foods. To, so kind of make that switch slowly if you can to reduce these foods a little bit and bring in more uh, fresh foods that are going to be rich in vitamin C and all these other great nu nutrients that fortify our body and strengthen our body. We don't want to add anything that's going to um, kind of make us weak, right? We want to fortify ourselves. So um, bringing in a lot of fruit. Don't be afraid of fruit because of the sugar. Fruit is really great. It's packed with antioxidants, got vitamin C. It's going to be like your secret weapon for your immune system and fighting off any viruses. And um, adding in some, uh, um, adding in more antiviral herbs into your everyday, so raw garlic. I got thyme on my chicken here, so what I did with my chicken was um, uh, garlic, thyme, and lemon. And I just let that bake in the oven, so I got a really beautiful antiviral meal here that's going to support my immune system. Um, it's got lots of B vitamins, so it's going to help bring down stress. I know it's a lot easier said than done right now to not feel stressed out. Um, and I think a really important thing right now is to just allow ourselves to just be and to just relax and to be okay with uh, slowing down and not being so productive and, and to just really allow, our allow ourselves to take this time and rest. I think that's going to be a really important thing for protecting our immune systems as well is like don't get too caught up in your mind um yeah so thank you all for joining in today uh we are still offering consultations online so if anyone is wanting support through their with their diet right now um, we can still offer that to you online uh, we could do zoom calls and i can send you all of your meal plans, supplement plans, and um, herb suggestions that are tailored to your unique body. I can send that all through the internet. So if you have a lot of time right now and you're really wanting to focus on building your health and use all of this extra time that you have to really uh, uh, learn how to make your medicine in your kitchen, right now is a really great time. So thank you all for watching and I will see you soon. Thank you.